Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the stream. Today's a little bit later than usual. We're starting at 7.30 p.m. my time, for those curious. Central Standard Time, that is. But that's all right. I've been waking up a little bit later than usual. Around 3 or 4 o'clock is when I woke up today. So after, you know, catching up on some anime and waking up and stuff like that, I figured I was start streaming a little bit. Do some of that stuff, you know. So, that's what we're doing. We're going to play more Seven Days to Die, of course, which means I'm not going to be using the VTuber model, unfortunately. I mean, we're still got my little PNG boy there, I'm just hanging out, being a good guy. But, fortunately, we can't really use the VTuber model as it seems to lag a bit. So, that's not great. But, we also discovered last time that it seemed like our issues with lagging was quite centered around the city. So I'm wondering if we will be better surviving now, right? Make sure we select the right one. Start. So now that we know like where we lag, namely the city, I hope we'll have some better survival. Yes, I guess because there's just so much stuff in the city, like building-wise. I mean, zombies don't spawn unless you get close to the area. Like if you're going through a building, um, you could have zombies on the first floor that are spawn, but on the second floor, or certain areas, unless you get close to them, they're not going to spawn. Especially zombies that are like hidden in areas, um, you could not necessarily see them. So that's a thing that exists. But for right now. Just continue going around. I might adjust the graphic settings here because I think last time we set them all down to zero, lowest settings that we possibly could, just so we could get out of town quicker and whatnot. Let's see what we were doing last time. Uh, we had just finished coming back to base camp after getting parts for the mini bike, right? We got rid of our axe because we don't really need the axe when we're out keep bop bop a dooping around and all that good stuff. Also, we don't really need the pickaxe, do we? Like, it breaks stones and harvest materials. I don't think we really need this. All we really need is a sledgehammer, right? So why don't we go ahead and put away our pickaxe as well. That way, if we need this stuff, we can just use it as it gets here. But we also have that buried treasure thing, right? Our uh, buried supplies quest. Go ahead and track that. I mean, track that. There we go. We'll do that, and then we'll do open trade routes right after, I think. Let's take a look at our stuff here real quick. Kind of re-monitor what we got here. Also, I'm going to change my graphical settings real quick, like. We're going to upgrade the texture quality to the high. If I just do the texture, I think we should be a little bit better, right? Everything looks a little nicer. What else do we got here? Video settings. That's still off, which is good. Um, what else really matters? Like, does anything really matter? Aliasing might be good. I don't even know what this is. Remove jagged edges from objects. Let's let's go with this. Let's turn that on. A high as well. Make everything look a little neater, right? That'll be fun. And then a uh, texture filter. What's this do? This filtering strength to make nicer blending. Eh, we'll leave that off. We don't need any reflections. We don't need shadows. Screw all that. Water quality can stay low. Um, LOD distance. The overall maximum level of detail at which the world is displayed. Let's increase that to about 20%. Just so we have a nice little thing there, right? Perfect. Everything looks good now. This is what we'll be playing at. We'll leave most of the settings pretty low just so we don't have to deal with that. But there are a couple things we can do now. Since it is day, or uh, for the next hour and a half, we could start going out and go to this berry supplies and dig it up. But the thing is, when we start digging, we might actually end up going into night. Could be bad. So what else we could do is we could just stay at base for the night and mine. Um, 
kind of one thing we could do. What, what do we got going on here in terms of like supplies and stuff we're doing? Steel arrowhead. If I wanted to make steel arrowheads, I would need more iron. So we're really lacking in iron right now. I'm not really lacking in iron, never mind. Let me turn this on while we figure out what we're doing. That way I'll at least have some iron being smelted. Um yeah, well, let's real quick, we'll take a sip of water. And our water's getting a little bit high there. And then, right, we're making some steel arrowheads here, actually. We do have 69 iron arrows left, and I might actually just use all of those up before we go ahead and use our iron, our steel arrows. I guess that's been decided then, huh? I'm gonna wait till this lead finish is going, and then I'll put my, uh, like, half, half an extra, my iron in here, just so we start getting that going. Let's, let's turn this off. I've decided we're gonna go ahead and go journey to our buried treasure, dig that up. We should be able to get there before night fully falls, so I think we'll be good in that regard. But we got our mini bike. Nice, so let's go. Honestly, I remember this being faster. But you know what? Fine. As long as we don't have to use, you know, our energy to <laughs> pedal it. Seems like we're okay. I do definitely remember it being a lot faster than it is now, though. Which is strange. I remember it was just like fly, and I think a lot of that, like, had to do with the quality of, like, the motor you put into it. Because there used to be quality on motors, but now it appears there's not. So you used to be able to put, like, a really high-quality motor in here and just, like, fly around the map, these things. Um, not actually fly, but, you know, go pretty fast. Now there's no quality for the motor, it's just for the battery. But it doesn't even seem like the battery quality matters here. I don't know. Complicated. We got plenty of gasoline, so we're okay. Right now, I think we got like a pack of 5,000 or more in the mini bike, which is great. We're just gonna keep going down the road towards the buried treasure while it's still daylight out here. Our little lamp. Hey, chicken. Hey, zombie. Don't mind me. Now, the mini bike does create more noise. Oh. It does create more noise, so that is a thing that we have to kind of be careful of with zombies. Because they will uh, cause us some problems if they follow us with the mini bike, you know? Anyway, I'm going to turn this light off real quick. Check our surroundings after we begin this. So, I don't see any zombies that are nearby, especially. But we can't really dig through this because it's a very hard asphalt. We're going to start digging over here, and hope that we get lucky not having to dig under the road. That would be a little unfortunate. You can already see how good this shovel is compared to the, what did we have before, like a four quality? This, this top tier quality purple shovel is really great, being able to dig things up in basically two hits. So, actually you can almost do it in one look at it like we're we, we're doing 184 damage it looks like the dirt there we go there's the secret treasure and we want to uh make sure we have a easy way out though so let's go ahead and do something quick because i think once you grab the treasure it actually starts spawning zombies around it since it is night i want to be able to be able to get out of this hole in time to deal with them how does that look? A little more digging here. A little more digging right here. Okay, so we can go get out from this hole. Please. Ow! Ow! Rude. Okay. Regardless, we got the buried treasure. But as you can see, it spawns zombie here. Out of the way, lady. Fantastic.
All right, let's just get on the bike and go. That was close. Also, I'm bleeding, so we need to take care of that real quick. Um, can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Come on, 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 come on. There we go. We got healed. Well, suffered both a concussion, a couple of scrapes, and bleeding. Uh, I also have a broken leg, which is not going to be great for us. So I think what we'll do is we'll go back to base for now. I kind of drop off the, the random nonsense that we got. And then we can get a cast on our leg to heal it. And we might just go down and just start mining stuff for right now. Just, just because I don't want to have to go up to the trader that we're going to go to next uh, while I have a broken leg. So it'll be uh, useful for us to do that. We can also get rid of our... Do I have antibiotics? Now that I think about it, I have honey, but I don't think honey can cure over 5%, so we need to get back quick, yeah. There we go. Also, you'll notice that uh, I can move like a little bit slow, a little bit faster. If I hold shift, I think it's like, at least I think it does. Maybe it doesn't, maybe I'm just imagining things. But let's go ahead and get out of here. Get ourselves down to our, our safety here. We're just gonna run a little bit quicker than usual. Even though we have a broken leg, because I wanna make sure we can get down here and get our supplies to heal us. Okay, medical supplies, cast, use it. That'll take care of that. So we only have about 24 minutes of injury that we really sustained here. Also, the concussion, which... Can't I get rid of the concussion with... ...pills? Also, let's go ahead and take the honey real quick before I forget about it. All right. Grab those. We got beer and red tea, and we also know blueberry recipe, so I'll go ahead and just learn that. We also have this river supplies, which we will be dealing with later. Go ahead and store the stuff here. And then, like I said, we will go down and start just mining away the ground down here. Get ourselves some stuff. Hold on. This one? Yeah, concussion. Use painkillers to cure it. Otherwise, it's going to last an hour. What else do I have? I have deep lacerations. You treat it properly with the first aid kit. Or stuff, but your max HP is lowered by a lot. Oof, okay. So, go ahead and first use painkillers. So we'll cure our, our headache issue. Now, I could use the first aid kit, but also... I could use this sewing kit. The simpler. It's not going to do as good of a job, but it'll, it'll do the thing, I think. Oh, no, it actually did a real good job. Never mind. So, now that we're basically fully healed... We don't have too much to worry about in terms of injuries right now. So we just basically got to wait for 24 minutes. We will be good. So we're just going to mine today. Or tonight, I guess. Not really. We'll just mine. Maybe we find stuff, maybe we don't. I think actually, what if we head... I'm trying to think of where... Where's the road at? To the south, right? So yeah, we'll head south because south there was some resource nodes, I think. Remember correctly. It would be nice if we could find like a, a nice ore vein or something down here. I might wouldn't give like an auger right about now, you know what I mean? Hopefully we can find another city that has a working stiffs crate. In it. Once we find that, we might be in luck when it comes to getting auger parts or something like that. I'm actually not sure what it takes to make an auger now. An auger requires an auger... Well, that doesn't help me at all, does it? There we go. Bicycle handles requires motor tool parts, engine force shield. This stuff, easy. We can do that. 
Uh, the important thing right now is the motor tool parts, which we can't get. Uh, we would have to scrap other motorized tools, I think, in order to get them. Unless we find the parts themselves, or things we can scrap for it, we're not going to find much there. Fortunate. But, yeah. Well, the good thing is that this mining adventure that we're doing, not only will it get us an experience that we can, you know, get just by chilling, hanging out, having time, right? But it'll also get us stone. And the stone can be used for either cobblestone or making it into cement or concrete. And if you look at concrete, we have sand, stone, and actual cement that we need to get. And cement is made with just stone. So we need to get a lot of that, but it's also used in the forge. So we, need, we also need a machine mixer. We can actually make, I think, now. So that's cool. We'll make one of those at some point. But for right now, we'll just focus on mining rocks. Have a good old time. We actually make might make a cement mixer when we get up topside. To be honest, when we get back to our, our base after we're done with this mining stuff. Out of stamina. All right, we'll just take a moment here to relax. And regenerate our stamina again. Back in uh, the earlier versions of Seven Days to Die, what I would do sometimes is I would actually find a place that was in a good location, kind of like this one where we have, you know, a city right nearby. And what I would do is I would just start digging into the ground like a dwarf, right? And I would just get in there and hollow out a place to live. I don't like what I'm doing here in a way. Um, and then I would like line it with wood and cement and concrete and basically make an underground bunker of sorts, right? Um, of course, I would build up above like an area to keep zombies out and to fight them off during Horde Night and whatnot. So I would have like an underground nice little bunker. And to do that, I would have to, of course, clear out all of the uh, rock and rubble that was below the base. So. It would be a bit of a chore, but we would make a nice little base there. And they wouldn't be big bases, they would just be like, maybe talk about the size of like a frame, for example, like a one cube size. I'd probably make them around a six by six, you know? They weren't that wide or like huge or expansive. And I'd barely make them three blocks deep, right? Because you don't need that much clearance, just like two blocks, and I think you're fine, right? So I would make it three blocks, just so you have a little breathing room to alleviate the claustrophobia and whatnot. I guess I should get some water and stuff. Since we are digging, it's going to require a jump, off, jump up there, which will hurt the leg a little bit, but that's okay. Use. I might drink this yucca juice. Let's drink three water. And then the yucca juice itself. There we go. Alright. With that, my stamina should regen a little bit faster. Just for a little bit. So let's get down here as quick as possible. Continue mining out the walls. I mean, we could even use this as like a, a safety fallback bunker if we needed to. I don't think we will because I think zombies like to dig now. So if you, even though I have like a bunch of doors and walls and stuff like that up above, it wouldn't really matter because the zombies, they would just dig through the uh, ceiling to get to uh, the quickest way to get to you is what the zombies want, basically. So, even if I have, like, one layer of concrete reinforcement around me down here, 
if there's only like two layers of dirt above, but like five doors and stuff that they have to get through otherwise, they'll just go ahead and dig through the ground to get to me. That's, that's what they used to do. I don't know if that's still the case, or if they changed it up a little bit more. Also, I think I drank too much water there. <laughs> Looking at my uh, bar and how much time I have left over there on the left. Oh well. Not like I don't have an overabundance of water. Also, I could even just use this place as, like, experience grind, you know? Because building usually gives us a lot of experience, right? So, we could just come down here, mine out places, and then make, like, a, a crazy tunnel bunker thing. Which would, uh, get us a lot of experience. It doesn't have to be fancy, just no regular wood would be enough. Regardless, even if my foot's not completely healed, by the time day comes around, we'll still leave. Um, we'll probably wait until around, what, 6 o'clock? Because I think the trader opens at like 6.30 or something, so I don't want to waste time waiting outside the, the trader with a broken foot, you know? So we'll just mine here for a while, and then when day rolls around, 6 o'clock comes around. I think it's open actually at 6.30, so if you wait until 6 to go up from here, you should have a good time that will reach it right about the time they open. There'll be very little waiting around. Also, I think we have some stuff to sell to the trader as well, and some tokens that we accidentally brought back here. Alright. We just got a new skill point. Let's, you know, get some man regeneration going on. So we, we were waiting, I think, to get, we could get the Motorcycle Maniac, but does that really matter right now? I don't, I don't know. What right now do we need? That is the question, because we could get from the Shadow, which would hide uh, us more effectively, muffle our movements, and be harder for enemies to attack us, but I don't think that matters too much right now. On quick hands, one handed melee. I think a bat's two handed, so that's not going to help too much. This is hip firing, which only increases accuracy and movement penalty, and that's whatever. Deep cuts is for play, that's a pistol. This is for bows. We have healing factor, iron gut, and cardio. Iron gut is. Reduced water loss from food, from physical exertion. That was not bad, but it's not something we need to get right now. Pain tolerance would just get us a straight up HP reduction loss, which if we don't get hit, we don't need it. So, let's put that one aside for right now. Let's see, we already got that. That one's basically maxed now. Um, isn't my inventory like maxed though? Hmm? I thought it was. Um, I could get the next level of Miner 69er or Node thingy Majabber there. What about this? Ooh! You know what? Let's get the next level of Lucky Looter. Because if we're going to go to a new city and loot stuff, it'd be very handy. Yes, yes, indeed. What was I thinking of here for a moment? Yeah, my inventory, right? Is it? Yeah, isn't my inventory like full? Like, I can. Put everything there without being over encumbered, right? Why would I still get more pack meal points? Hmm. Interesting. All right. As you can see, it gets a little claustrophobic if you're just, you know, too, too high here. That's why I like to make my bases three high. Okay. It's almost daylight, which is nice. Go this way a little bit. Also, the thing is, even though I said my base was like three tall, 
and six wide and six deep before. That also means you have to go an extra layer if you want to place down a floor, walls, and a roof. So let's take this area here, for example, this little uh, too tall area. If I wanted to put a roof and a floor here, I'd have to go a level up and a level down, right? Because obviously if I put, you know, structures here, it's going to take up all the space, right? So that's not great. Also, once we get an auger, this is going to speed up so quickly, the, uh, the amount of work we're putting in here. It's also not going to take us any uh, stamina at all to mine stuff, which will be great. But that'll come later. I'm not even sure we're going to get an auger. It would be great to get one like today. That would be most excellent. Will we? Probably not. Okay. Got a nice little corner here. This area expand outward. Excellent. I just might I just like make them look making things look neat down here. So kinda got this weird jaggedness over here that's like kinda weird and whatever. And we kinda have a hard time getting up here. In fact, might as well just make this a little bit easier to climb up. We we'll just do this. We'll just dig one more back. And that's kind of why I didn't just start digging down immediately from there. So I could uh, get up easier. In fact, I might just do, if I do one there and then one there, like kind of creates a gentler slope. Perfect. There we go. All right. Where was I? Was I mining? So, just disorienting when you're underground and everything looks the same. You have to look at the compass and be like, which direction was I going in? We didn't actually get a whole lot of experience from mining down here. We did manage to get like, what, like 3,000 experience? But it came over the course of like forever, so it's not that great right now. But as you can see, if you are someone who is building a base with friends, for example, and your job or what you do is only base building and digging out and mining and stuff like that, just, you know, stuff like that, you could focus like a lot of points into the things that help with that, you know, like Miner 69er and resource gathering, that kind of stuff, and it would really just boost the rate at which you gather stuff, so. Good miners, hard to come by, right? This kind of is just kind of tedious work and whatnot. So to get someone who really likes mining, whatnot, get someone down here with the miner 69er and the mother load perks, they can just start getting a bunch of materials in terms of like stone, and then if they get to an ore node, they can get a bunch of ore, stuff like that. And yeah, the nitrate and coal and iron and lead can all be gathered from these ore nodes underground and they're, they're up on the surface too you've seen them as we go by the like rocks that look colored and the, the square cubes of lead and the weird spiky piles of nitrate powder underneath those there's like a, a large reserve of that material so we can go to those mine it up and get a lot of stuff which i'm not doing right now because that's kind of I wouldn't say it's late game, but it's like once you actually start getting against harder hordes, getting more of them, stuff like that, where you need more firepower, you have more guns that go pew pew, you uh, kind of need to be able to make your own gunpowder. And then you have to rely on salvaged bullets, which is not an ideal thing. Hell yeah, because that's not a reliable source. But if you get, you know, a bunch of iron, lead, gunpowder, stuff like that going, you're actually able to produce it yourself and then have a much reliable income there. In fact, the only thing that would like limit your ammunition would be brass, which you get a bunch of when you're... You don't even have to worry about too much about that. Also, paper for the uh, shotgun shells is one other thing that you can get. So I am getting hungry here. That's not really great. But I think what we'll do, we'll call it here for mining. Where the hell's the exit? 
I'm going to put like a torch down here to find where the exit is. At. We're just going to go ahead and walk up here. And I think we'll start by making that cement mixer. We open this up. Cement mixer was an engine, mechanical parts, springs, and forged iron. Do I have enough forged iron? I guess is the question now. First of all, let's go ahead and turn this on so we can start melting stuff down. We're making forged iron here in a moment, but we need 25 of it, right? And I think I used all of it for other things, so we're not in a good place for that, unfortunately. Does this stuff look good? Okay, let's go ahead and store all this. And then we need to eat and drink and all that goodness. Take bacon and eat it. In fact, I probably need to eat two of these, actually. But I'll hold off on eating another one for it. Drink one water, because I think one water should be enough for us here. Alright, so cement mixer. I need 25 springs, leg and mechanical parts. I'll have springs and mechanical parts for days. The problem is, of course, the iron. I have steel here, <laughs> but not the iron. Also, I'm going to store this uh, pickaxe here. Also, the shovel I don't need anymore. That's fine. Excellent. Think about what else I need to take here. Let's go ahead and eat another bacon. I can make 10 forged iron so far. I might as well start back then. And then I guess I'll take one bacon with me as well, just for the road, if I have it. Hmm. I need a 25 for the cement mixer, right? 25, yep. It's definitely going to take a while to get even melt down all this stuff. Yeah. What time is it? Six o'clock. Okay, let's turn this off. We're going to go ahead and head out now. We'll go stop by the trader. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot to bring the stuff that we wanted to sell to the trader with us. Namely, these tokens. Anything else I wanted to get rid of? I don't think I had anything else I wanted to get rid of. Um, yeah. Okay. I was thinking about it, but... Nope, I just want to get these tokens out of here. I don't like that I had to jump to get on the... Uh, Ladder, because it hurt my leg. Alright, so we'll go ahead and close this door behind us. It is nice that we do not have to use our legs to pedal the bike anymore. Because if we did, we'd be uh, either moving at a snail's pace, or we would have to be injuring our leg that's healing in order to continue moving. Ow. Let's see, we left at about 6.30, and I'd say we're going to get there around 6.45. We're very quick when it comes to moving around. Uh, maybe 6.50, yeah. Overestimated our speed. I just saw the meter number ticking down, and I was like, Ooh. Uh, Yeah, so it takes us around... 20 minutes? 20 seconds? Or I guess 20 minutes to get here, huh? Let's grab all of our things there. Can I just take this inside? Damn. Okay, perfect. I'm doing that so I don't have to walk with my bad leg and take time. Both meds, all right. Drugs, booze. Um, I got it all. I'll take the med kits, I suppose. What else do you got for this? Anything I want to buy here right now? I'm going to craft cigars, doesn't matter. Um, 44 Magnum? Mm -hmm. I don't care. Improved fitness. You got to craft this item. Oh, improved fittings. 
Clothing doesn't matter. When do you resupply? On the 20th? Okay. Good to know. Guns there. Medical supplies. I need. Have. What I need here, I don't think. At least immediately. This is all stuff I sold her. I don't really need any of this. Immediately, anyway. Alright, yeah, I think I got everything that I need, really? so. Okay, then. Oh, job. I need a new job. We took a job, Sonny. Ooh, we're up at tier twos now. Okay. So we have night only restore power. I I want to do that. You need to do this job at night to avoid enemy detection. Okay. Travel all suited for a new outpost. Go to the business and reset the generators. Clear out any zombies you find inside. And bring a torch. Oh, I would kiss you, but, um, you know. Apocalypse hygiene. I've actually never had this quest happen. I've seen it before. Um, when I would play previously, the only quests that we really had were for fetch quests, or clearing out zombies, or burying, or digging a buried treasure, right? So, well, it's new, so I want to test that one out. But right now, we are going to head to this one. The new trader. We're two kilometers away. And we're going here because I want to see if there is a, another town up north. Oop. There's fish tail there. There's another town up north. That could be another area that has some good loot and stuff in it, right? Oop, that's a fence. Turn. Luckily, the Maybe bike didn't take any damage there. That took damage though. I don't know why I took damage from going over the curb. Where's the road that exits this area? Oh, it's to the east, huh? There's also one over there. Um, I guess let's head to the west then. I will just kind of go to that larger road over this way since this is just a, a circular area. Not too much. Hello, Mr. Zombie, don't mind me. Also, maybe I should just angle myself a little bit northwest. That would be the road, and we're also making progress towards that, and not just in the west for no reason. Oh, hit a rock. Well, we're already a fourth of the way there, which is nice. Went five kilometers down. It's gonna start raining, though. Right? On our headlight. You are wet. Great. Yeah, so the main roads, these, they should connect the other cities together, I guess. Okay, there's a little side path over there. We can investigate that at some point. Right now, let's just focus on getting this trader. Hopefully, Crater's next to a town. It used to be, at least when I used to play, there would uh, only sometimes be Crater's next to towns. Sometimes the Crater's would just be out in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. Woke up. Oh, there was two of them. Okay, there's a couple more now. Well, hold this position. Best we can. Oh, I got over. That guy's trying to flank me, it looks like. Oh, got his leg off. That was a good hit. Kind of careful about this. There's so many zombies now. One down. Two down. Ah, uh, there's a third. Here's a fourth. I said here's a fourth, lady. Okay. Batter up! Yeah. 
Okay, and then one more hit off to this guy too. One more hit. Ow! Behind? Ah! Same zombies. Okay. Go. Oh, there's a bag right here. Oh, that's a landmine! Woo! Okay. Alright, I forgot they put landmines in the military areas. Look at that bad guy there. It looks like he's having a bad time. Let's uh, go around here so he can... Shit, no! Great, another leg injury. This place might have been a mistake to come to right now. Why was my gun not loaded? Better find some good loot here. I'm a little upset. We really swallowed if I could find like a splint or something. You know what? I don't like that. He just like appeared. Come on, zombies. Come on, look closer. There we go. Hell yeah, brother. That's right, here's the landmines. So, I got hit by that. You dead? You dead. Good. I don't know where that jumper got, but uh, as long as he ain't bugging me, I think I'm okay with that right now. We're going to finish jumping, and then... Dog. I thought, oh, we would just stop here real quick and get the loot, and then go to the trader, and we can you know, trade with him. Where the hell did you come from, Skinny? Another one there, too. Okay. Well. Get on the ground. They just keep coming. Absolutely insane. I, mean, I should have just dumped on top of that when I saw the dog, but... I didn't think about it. Another zombie right there. We're gonna take this guy out first, shall we? Okay, he's down. Okay, now, I have to reload this, huh? Okay. Got him. What do I need to make a splint? Claw and duct tape? Find any of that here. Gotta be a medical tent somewhere here, right? Surely. This is a rough way to start things. Maybe I should get my mini bike and just drive it through here. That way I can pick up the uh, loot quicker. And if I need to, I can go to it and escape. I think I'll do that. What is the wound here? Jumping or sprinting will delay healing or even hurt you. Ugh. That's great. Lovely. Love to see it. Are all my guns and stuff good? Yeah, they are. Alright. 
Luckily, I'll be able to move around a little bit quicker with this. But can I? To attract anyone's attention, so. There's some more trash right here. Okay. Anything in here? No, really, there is. Oh, no, there's something here. Hold on. Just trash, though. Ugh. Okay, how about the truck? I've not had any luck with these military trucks before, so... Tin can! Lovely. Where the dog came from, huh? Do I get anything from whacking at this? Plastic. Let me put the duct tape again. I need glue. Damn it, glue right now. Ah. Back in the back real quick. I'm gonna drive into here. Here that I can search, I don't think. Of course, there's nothing there. That's nothing, so I guess this desk. Nothing. Is there really nothing in this camp? That uh, really kind of upsets me. And we also need to get to the trader before night falls, too, so. Um. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Use my bow to hit this lady and miss completely. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me there. I don't know why I was missing like that. Well, let's hurt like a little bit. Yeah, that actually did hurt me. I saw my health go down from 93 to 92. That's great. At least there's stuff up here. No zombies, it looks like. There's a medical thing here. Can we get lucky and find a splint? No. Hmm. What's this book? For damage to vultures. Do I know that? I don't know. Reduce fall damage. Ooh, that's useful. Let's go ahead and modify and put that bad boy on right now. Oh, I already got one. Never mind. I guess. Let's go ahead and eat this pie, though. Let's go ahead and scrap those, drop that stuff in there. What else? What else? Anything I can do right now? I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this for right now. I guess let's go ahead and break into these bad boys. Got a shotgun messiah and a working stiff crate. We didn't get jack shittily dipped, did we? Okay, well, let's get the hell out of here. This place was a bust. We're never coming back here again. If you see one of these in the future, we'll go ahead and just ignore it. All right, let's go. Get out of here. Not down there. Well, let's be careful as we get out of here. I don't want to ruin the bike. I think, like, one thing that was really lucky is we managed to avoid that leaper spider zombie, as they call him. And uh, that helped us to avoid getting hurt. I wouldn't loot these cars because cars could potentially have health supplies like a splint in them, maybe. We gotta pickaxe the same qualities as the one that I have. So ignore that. Alright. Actually, hold up. Don't, uh, don't make that pickaxe into. I was about to destroy that pickaxe when I could just sell it. So we have some buildings over there. Not sure if it's a town or what. It looks like it's a town. A lot of buildings close together, but... Traders further this way. 
but let's note down that. I mean, we're going to see it again when we pass by later. But for right now, let's just keep going. We reach the desert. Deserts where you can find a shale, which can be used to make gasoline. Nice. Also, there's less trees, so you can see, like, forever. There's a town over there, a town over there. God dang. I might want to make an outpost over here. First of all, let's go to the trader, see if he can get us any supplies, like medical supplies. If he has a uh, foot bandage thing, flint or a cast, that'd be ideal. Oh! Oh! Nope. I guess vultures are more common in the uh, the desert, huh? Ooh, what a wet. I'm gonna keep going until we get to the trader. I'll deal with the vultures then if I have to. But right now we're gonna just ignore them. I'm not seeing anything too promising in this city. Um, there should be a lightly defended trader here, though. Okay. Go ahead and pull over here. Didn't realize there were that many. Oh my god. Okay. Well, let's get cutting. Just pack it away a little bit so it doesn't get damaged by me cutting these boys up. Oh, the one thing that's, uh, I guess, not a good thing here is that if he does have medical supplies, I don't have anything to trade with him right now. I have any, uh... Ah. Another one? Bruh. How's it at? Come on. Did it just bleed to death? I guess it did. Oh. Sell more stuff to him, I guess. We did get a lot of experience from killing those zombies at the military base thing, though. So that's nice. Um, let's loot this real quick. Those aren't ideal. I was hoping for something that would actually help us here. Oh my god, going upstairs is so slow. Keep our bat out just in case more of the naughty guys come around. A working stiff sign over there. That's a good indication. Speak, survivor. Hello, Trader Joel. I'm gonna steal your stuff before I talk to you, so maybe I can sell you some stuff. Okay, well, I have cloth now, so all I need is duct tape, is it, to make a splint? Yeah, duct tape. Alright, let's talk, sir. Here's your reward. I owe you one. Okay, you didn't really give me a reward, but. Thanks, I guess. Um, I don't think I want to take any of your quests right now, my dude. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't. Maybe next time. Happy travels, survive. Thought I heard some zombies doing something. Do you want any of these? No. Uh, do you want this? Yes. Go ahead and take that. Take that. You don't want those. Got to check if I already had that one or not. Um, do you want this pistol part? Go ahead and just take this. I, I know it's like a rare thing, but I just need money right now. Um, but does he not have a medical supply option here? I am saying. What do you got? Hmm? What you got on you? Got an AK-47, which I can't afford. Wouldn't buy it anyway. You got machine gun parts. What about, like, machine tool parts? You got those? Large pipes. Brass faucet. Ooh, a fancy. I don't care. Cool, light bulb, you know that stuff. We have weaponry is this. Gunpowder. Do you have glue, sir? Doesn't have glue. Night vision goggles though. That's cool. Um Sir, why do you not have anything that I need? Like honestly. What the hell is wrong with you? 
Can I sell you anything I'm currently carrying, though? You want some feathers? Take some feathers, why not? Bottle of acid? I'll go ahead and take that. I don't need it right now. We're gonna sell this cornmeal. Thanks okay. Shopping here. Come again. Let's grab that. Hold this stuff here. Do I know that book? Let's take a look. Uh, hunter, hunter, hunter. A spear hunter. What is it? A hunter's journal? For damage against vultures? I already got that one, so yeah, I'll sell that one to him too. You come okay. back sometime. The leg is broken. Okay, I'm so healing, you know, shit. Um. Let's make a campfire real quick. Cannot get blue though. Duct tape requires cloth fragments, but the splint also requires two cloth fragments. I need cotton. Fuck. Okay. Well, let us, at least for right now, get out of here. Dead. Biker over there. Couldn't kill him, but I got the sneak attack. Dropped him. I missed. You can tell because that uh, noise came up. All right, we're gonna use the arrows for this now. Okay, he's down. Stop crouching so we can move a little bit faster, shall we? All right. Well. Any cotton in here? I don't think I can even get cotton here if I wanted to. Got a forge over here. We got lead. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna have to just jump and take some injury to get to this stuff. Oh. Not ideal, but we'll take it. Ooh, we got uh, another schematic that we don't really need right now. Any machine that's a rental, right? Care about that. Water here that I can get? Like just something I can scoop up a little bit of water with would be great. Goldenrod tea. Random nonsense. Any of this do anything like interesting? Loot bonus. Oh, that's cool. For five minutes, huh? I want to buy that. Covert cats increases sneak. Skull crushers or melee damage. Lamb rations. Okay. Well, when we do start looting, I'll go ahead and use those. But for now, I think this is coffee, ain't it? Can't do it anyway. All right. Uh, storage. Oh, already there one. Never mind. Good here. How far away does it have to be before I can place it? Right there. Okay. Gotcha. Go ahead and store the stuff that I do not need right now. Uh, I'm going to put it on a fire here as well, just so we have that. For everything for right now. Hold on to the glue. Hold on to this. Do need to have that down here. I kind of should have sold that, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um I don't think I'm gonna find cotton here though, that's the problem. Crash here, hold on. Or cloth, okay. Um splint. 
Flint is wood, duct tape, right? So duct tape first. <gasps> I can make a duct tape, right? I got glue. Oh my god, perfect. Make a splint right now. Go, 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 go. Use that bad boy. Oh my god. Okay. Now, we're a little bit more okay. I'm gonna put this bottle away for what I need it now. Alright. So let's see. We have a crack a book here. I think I'll go to this one first. So we can learn anything we can from it. Hello. Aminos. Now at least I can jump without taking damage to my health. So we're gonna be a little bit slow, I think, but at least I won't. That's weird. At least I don't think I will take much damage from jumping around and such. Got an anvil schematic, doesn't really matter. I guess the bookshelves aren't front and back, it's just one sided, huh? Fortunate. Alright. Did I search that? Yeah. Couldn't remember. Anything back here? Nope. Doesn't lock. How about this cooler? What you got? Ooh, you got some grandpa's awesome sauce, huh? I didn't need the sham sandwich, but there's the toilet quick. Drop the sham sandwich before I put out it. This is a oh, it's a weighted head mod. I don't know that. Never mind. Learn that. Art of mining volume five. I don't know that one. Go ahead and learn it. It used to be you couldn't learn books that you already knew. Run away till we get more uh, stamina back. I was going to keep cutting until I got him that way, so... Good thing he died now. Another little military area right there. I don't think I want to deal with that. We'll be honest. I'm just going to go around the back here. Garage door is that. Okay. Anything below this? Look like it? Nope, I, I heard something else. Where'd that guy come from? What? Freaking barrels. Let's take a moment to regen some stamina. You done? Okay. Let's search the rest of this area quick. I'm gonna use some bandages. A little bit of health back. A little extra gas for the uh, mini bike, which is nice. Duffel bag up here. Okay, a couple of bandages that I don't need. Throw those away, I don't need them. Bring the rock fleshy. 
I'm gonna have picked up the lead and not the rotten flesh, but okay. Alright, so let's go up here. It looks like there's probably loot up here as well. Didn't even know there was a second floor to this area, what? Well, that's clear, locked, it's clear, make there, okay, clear, clear, oh, that's how you get the second floor, okay, well, fine. What's left here? That's a burnt to hell, huh? All right. Uh, I think we can get higher up still from here, so let's take a look at that. First, let's grab what we can. Scrap that. Scrap that. We got military armor parts. Let's go ahead and um, attach those. So, we can go ahead and put them on our feet here, can we? Oh, they're military armor parts, not modifications. Makes sense why they're stacked in them. Okay. Oh, I knew there'd be a crater here. Come on, something good. An auger, perhaps. We got a shotgun turret and an iron sledgehammer. So. You already know that one. What about the shotgun turret? Uh, you already know that one. Okay. So that's fine. Got a weather sports bag here. Okay. I'll go ahead and take these pills to uh, get my health back up. Careful, ow. Hurt my leg, that's not great. Go ahead and take this fridge apart. Get it out of the way here. What about the coffee maker? Got coffee in it? Nope. Just beans. Don't want the beans. What do you got? Any food? You do not. I think. Bones. Well, oh. let me get rid of this blueberry seed. I think I'll go ahead and eat the bacon and eggs right now, since we are to the point where we can use it. Also, drink this water. Excellent. All right. Leg. Come on, careful, careful. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get on our mini bike, and I'm gonna just head right back immediately to the chest that we had down over here. That way, I can drop off all of our loot. So much quicker now that we have a uh, bike, right? Actually, give me that gas. Okay. Let us open and refuel. There we go. Didn't fully refuel it, but that's all right. We didn't need to right now. Okay. Yeah, fuck off, snake. All right, let's hit up this working stiffs next. Snake still is like. Mm, stop, okay. It was continuing towards me. Alright, well, we got that zombie up there, so we gotta watch out for her so she doesn't drop down on us. Alright. Oh, we had another one. Okay. Back up. I think she just jumped right over that arrow. Back out here. I want to be as safe as possible right now since we uh, are a little injured, you know? I'm not gonna use my baseball bat unless I have to right now. Especially if we have plenty of room to move. 
camping gear, huh? Over there. Okay. That could be something interesting. It's a locked door. There's a working stiff's crate in there. We can probably navigate to that somehow. I'm gonna ignore it for right now. We have a shelf here. Um, repair kit, that'll come in handy. Roll some coal in it. I'll take that for right now. Oh, this is bad. Yep, that one's down. Oh, there's definitely gonna be a zombie that's gonna drop down from. Hear that creaking? Yep, right there. Just a shot. That one. He dodged that right in like the nick of time, huh? My aim has gotten so bad after not playing for like a day or two. I'm gonna that out. Just what the hell is that? What the? Fuck am I... Is it because I'm stepping on those damn tiles? Is that what it is? Oh my god. Scaring the hell out of me. Whatever it is. Yep, okay. Those are causing it. Let's just not walk on those for right now. Iron arrow, please. Mmm, I hate that. The damn ceiling is not great. Leveled up. Um. You know what? Let's not loot anything right now. Not loot anything quite yet. Just make sure we can get rid of these boys quick. Okay. We got another guy there. Let's see if I can take him out stealthily. Not like that, of course. One more shot ought to do it. Glass was in the way. I didn't even see the glass there. Okay, he's dead. Oh, there's someone outside or around this corner. He's around the corner. Here. Oh, shit. Didn't even see him there. Okay, one more. Ha! Got him. All right, we good? Almost night, so we gotta be really careful now. Wanna make sure that we crash compactor. Go ahead and search all this real quick. I'm not gonna get much good stuff here, but alright. What was that last thing? Sorry. Lever action schematic in the trash? And I will take it. That is pretty nice. I'm going to use another water. Uh, also, I got some charred meat. Might as well eat that right now. Okay. Nothing behind there. How heavy is this? 30. I kind of want to search the whole area before we. in the bathroom? Nope. How about this bathroom? Nope. Mm. Leave real quick. Shit, are you fucking kidding? A coyote? Okay. And a snake came too! Bro, that's messed up. See you over there, dog. Goddamn son of a bitch. He's coming back.
Got it. Nice. All right. Woo. Okay. That could have been bad. Especially with our injured leg. It's a good thing I managed to damage it enough that I've decided to back away before we uh, move here. So I think right now, I don't really want to do anything. Heard something. Give me two frames right now. Look up here now, see if there's any zombies above. I don't think there are. I think we're secured. The, the, the foot injury is really messing me up right now. Well, if I can't stay on the ground, actually, I want to work. Shit. I'm saying if I can't stay on the ground, I'm just going to uh, stay up here. I'm going to just hit another tile. Unless there was a tile up here. It would be very possible. Oh, there she is. Um, okay. That did not do a sneak attack, so she knows where I'm at. Can I search that? Not from here. What was that one? Build across here. Can I search it? Yeah. Perfect. Now, why am I searching right now? I was going to use the, the book. But, uh, I, I'm not safe here anymore, y'all. I wish we could go back to the trader and just chill there, but we might just end up having to relax on top of this. I have some plant fibers I can do. Better Joe's is closed. Also, if you do not, uh, if you're not aware, um, if you do go to Trader Joe's and you go into the uh, place and it closes, what happens is you just get kicked out, like teleported out to the side. But you can't stay the night no matter what you do. Now oh, there's a boy there, huh? I think that shopping cart should prevent him from getting further in. Also that zombie there, though. Looks like he's not attacking the door anymore. So, uh, nice. My rifle loaded, it is. Because I should be able... I don't like how close that is. I'm going to go to this shelf over here. If I'm that close to that... What the hell, lady? How'd you get up here? There's definitely a path to the roof from here. Oh, that's not good. That's very not good. Oh my god. I stay right here. They can't jump directly on top of me, so... That's cool. I must have dropped down right here, huh? I can plug up that hole and this hole. Then I think they can't drop directly on top of me. I'll start beating on them, though, and I'll be able to hear it. At least. Come on, zombies. There's two out there. Oh, well, there wasn't a way up for them. I could get here by dropping down. I could just, like, hit them from here. But... As soon as that door breaks. My old shit. Didn't expect him to fall immediately. Okay, 
I'm gonna hit him in the face. My arrow's back. While we're at it. There was two there. I guess one wandered off. We haven't looked at the map recently. We can do that while we're just chilling here. Yes, okay. So we have a side road there, we have that army base there, another side road there. So I'm guessing that this road also comes up and leads to this town here. We also have another town over this way, which was oh, it looks like that's the top of the map, so we had a town here, I think a town over here and a town over there. So if we build like a base right here, right on the edge of the desert forest. We'd be pretty well in the center of all the towns if we wanted to relocate, because right now we're, we're pretty far to the south. Also, that's a pretty big area of just death. So if that's the case on all sides, look here. Radiation probably starts right around here. Yeah, it doesn't go too much. Well, did I level up while we were waiting? Oh, we did. Excellent. Okay. What else should I do? Do more damage and harvest faster. Craft better salvage tools. Okay. Salvage tools like the, the wrench and the scooter. Like that, gotcha. Treasure hunter. For every seven blocks dug up, that doesn't matter. Dead eyes with rifles and stuff, right? Lock picking. Okay. Infiltrator. Big list damage from landmines. Doesn't matter too much right now. Piercing shot. And like I said, I could get these, but I don't think that's going to matter too much right now. Pack mule. Any further than this doesn't even matter. Good on that. You can learn how to make meat stew, potatoes, vegetable stew, blueberry pies. That wouldn't be bad, but I think in this current situation, it doesn't matter right now. Let's chance we get stunned, huh? Well, hmm. Gain experience from electrical trap kills. Oh, cool. It's a shame that it doesn't give you experience for normal trap kills either. Let's increase to 50, though. Something to consider, I guess. Matter. Robot active range. Okay. So what do I get? Man. Perception, headshot damage, and spears and rifles and stuff. I'll go ahead and get this. That way I can get like higher tiers of lock picking and stuff. Unlucky like looter and all that goodness. Man, it's just gonna be us sitting here for a while, huh? I'd love to move around, but my foot is still just not in a position where I want it to be, so. Also, a fox just kind of ran in here, nibbled at my foot, and then I had to kill it. And a rattlesnake got in, too. So, like, the fact that there's just all these creatures that can potentially come and just ruin my day is not ideal at all for us. So, we might just chill for a moment. Um, yeah. We'll just chill here for a moment until daylight comes. At least then we're not dealing with all the people jumping around and fritting at us and all that good stuff, right? Oh. 
it'll just be a couple more minutes anyway. And by the time daylight comes, we might even be done with our leg problem. We'll uh, hopefully have that be the case. Yeah. And you know what? While we're sitting here doing nothing really, I think I will go get a drink real quick. So, have done me. Hopefully a zombie doesn't drop down and kill me. I don't think it can, but hopefully not. Luckily, my kitchen is like 10 steps away. Gotta love the studio apartment things, man, where everything's like open, close together. I don't have to like run to like another room of the house. I kind of want to shoot that, but at the same time, it'll just chill. I wish that you would tell me what buildings were what on this map. It'd be nice to know if, like, what other places there are. There's another parking lot thing down here, so while we're waiting, why don't I tell y'all my plan for today? I figured that wouldn't do anything. What we'll do is when morning comes, we'll finish clearing this place to make sure there's no zombies around. Then we'll go ahead and pop these, uh, eye candy food things and after doing that that should get us to be able to get a little more experience because it does say it gives a loot bonus of five percent and a loot bonus of ten percent i'm not sure what the difference is there I'm curious that this different thing like that but anyway with that we should hopefully have a higher chance of getting better loot. So we'll eat that after we secure everything, open all the boxes that are ready to do it quick. Is it only last for five minutes? Yeah. So it might even take us five minutes just to get around this whole place to get the stuff. Um, but we'll eat that and then we'll print out, go to our motorcycle mini bike thing. And we'll just descend into the town and try to find the next place to start looting. Ideally, we find another working stiff or another bookstore. Because there's there's still so many. If I just was this, there's still so many like things that I'm not able to craft, right? Like this cloth fragment or cotton seed. Or if you look here, I got an iron spear. Iron knuckles, which I'm not going to use, of course, but can make it. I don't even know how to make advanced bellows, even though we found some. Uh, we have all these seeds and stuff we can't make yet. We don't know the seed recipes. We have ghillie suit stuff. All these kind of pants. Yeah, that's all for here, I guess. There's other stuff in addition to this stuff that we don't know, like the 4x4 vehicle and stuff like that but this is all the stuff we can make by hand of course there's still all the other stuff that we can't make um can i make pants question i could make pants i really want some different pants that aren't a skirt and a, maybe a cleaner looking shirt too you know just so i look more proper the max health reduction is one, which armor rating is pretty decent. Stamina per second is okay. I got my healing factor up a little bit. Medical healing. Jump strength is five percent. Seven percent. Excuse me. Damage is seventeen. Does it change if I equip a different weapon? Might as well just mess around while we're waiting here. Damage is now fifty-one. Okay, it does. I feel like I'm hearing something move. Hmm. Anyway. Hacked per minute. 
minute, 57 attacks per minute. Doesn't seem right. Let's see. Five deaths and 500 zombie kills, which means we kill 100 per life. Not great, to be honest. Not great at all. So we leveled up Perception. Which means we can now get the next level of Lucky Looter, which, if we level up in this town, I think we'll go ahead and get the next level of Lucky Looter. Because why not? Then we we'll also get lock picking is Perception 4. We might spend some time in this town and just loot everything we can um, and level up, kill zombies, that kind of stuff. We do have to go home soon because it is going to be the Horde night next time. Uh, not next night, but on the 21st. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that because we still have to fortify a little bit more of our base. We do have those... Um, uh, spikes to replace, right? Although they didn't really do much. Electric post fence. Electric relay. I can make these. Trap. Blade trap. It might be time to actually make some traps as well. Electric fence post. Wire two or more of these up to shock your enemies. This would be great to put like right in front of the gate to my house. Because if I did that, then I could have this just like shock the zombies that come in. It doesn't even take that much. The main problem would be the electricity for the generator. I could, I have a generator, so if I could just place it down, I could just wire it up real quick like. Awesome, my foot's almost healed. Go ahead and drink some water, because we're getting a little low on that, as you can see. Okay. I feel like I keep hearing things move, and it's throwing me off. All right, well, our foot's fully healed. We just need to wait for it to be day, which very quickly now it'll be day. And this is such a wasted night because of our foot injury. But since we're so far from home, I don't want to risk losing our stuff, right? So we're just going to suck it up and wait the next couple minutes here. As long as we're not injured next night, I don't think we'll worry too much about any of that stuff. Um... Yeah. Electrocution. Now the next level of electrician. Um, trap generators build advanced base defenses such as electrical fence, blade traps. I already know some of that stuff. Be more experienced in electrical trap kills. Honestly, maybe I, if I do level up again, I try to get to level 6 intelligence. For the electrician perk. Although, I don't know. How about this? If we level up until we have Horde Knight, I'm not going to spend my points. Unless I really want to. Yeah. <laughs> so decisive. That sucks. I wish I, could, like, make, I wish I could make night speed up or like sleep the night through. It'd be really cool to do that. I can get why you can't, but or if I can even like lessen how much how long night lasts. There isn't a setting to like change the length of the day. However, it's currently set at the max length of day. Like you can make it so like day is only like six hours long. Which I guess that's if you want to have more of a difficult time. But I personally don't. Alright, we're almost there. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just jump down from here. Back out this way. We're gonna close that real quick. Heard a zomboid.
I uh, didn't expect so many zombies to be right here. I don't think I can place this down with her there, though. Crap. Hey, lady, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Lady, please! I'm trying to get one through. Come on. Yes, you. Fuck. Not that. This. Run. That could have been real bad. I'm going to close this door real quick. Why are there so many zombies here? I don't know how to fortify this right now, but... At least use it to attack the zombies while we're breaking it down, right? There were so many zombies just camping me, huh? Hey, bud, can you come here? Okay, well, that didn't work because I thought it was going to. Yep. So I'll go ahead and demolish these crates. At least get the uh, thing down here. Hey, lady, you want to go? Let's go. Get her pat her mother. Oh, crap, that's... Why are there so many zombies? What happened? This town is cursed, man. Did I actually hit it? I did. Here we go! Close. Okay. What the fuck is happening? This is not how I expect this to go at all. Yep, that works. Get out of here. This is like a pseudo horde. What the hell? Thank God the police zombie, like, takes people out with him. Kill that one? What was this? Absolute insanity, man. You know, I'm gonna eat this fucking salmon just because y'all got another one? Are you kidding? Come here. Come on. Enough of you. Hard to use zombies. God, like the whole town. Decided to come and show me a visit. They were like, we heard you in the neighborhood. All right. I think that's all the chests that needed to be opened in this area. Probably still a rooftop. Oh, there's one over there, sorry. The wrong thing. It's not good. Okay. Um, do I still have those frames? I do not. If I craft three, it should be enough. Boop. But now I can just hit it. I don't want to waste my. I don't want to accidentally hit that one and break it, you know? Okay. Keep moving. Get our baseball bat. For the inevitable people who are going to be up here. I'll just going to scrap these real quick, like. You son of a bitch! 
God, I hate birds. At least the trader's not open yet. Let's drink this last water I have. Okay. I'm not even going to tear that bird apart. I don't want to deal with it. Is there another zombie down there, though? What the hell? Okay, that would just lead us down to that top of that area. Lady, please. How did you not wake up through any of this? Is that another one? It was. That. The damn ping. It, uh, surprised me for a second. Something's very wrong with this town. Damn, okay. Oh, ho. I am so glad that I, uh, Looked over there. He's dead. Oh, the Yahoo over there. He's down. Cancel the frames. I don't need him anymore. Okay. I think all the zombies here are dead now. Or maybe over there, but yeah, they're all dead. Perfect. And then this just leads me down into the main hold there. What do you guys got for me? Horn me, look at the hell out of my inventory right now. I don't even want to see it. Uh I didn't mean to do that, but do I know blueberry pie? I do not. I'll go ahead and learn that. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't have those squares. Uh, why was my stuff being weird before then? Looks like I could have all this process for a reason. Okay. King Grill, how do you look? Two. This stuff doesn't really have high tier loot in it, so I'm just gonna. Why is this stuff that like is decent now going up, huh? Let me search that. Ooh. Is mine better or worse? Mine is the same. Let's go ahead and repair that and I can sell it. For a pretty penny. Alright, let's get down into the guts of the area. Frames that I put down before. Oh. Seems like there might be a reason to come up here, but oh shit. something here. Oh, locked reinforced chest, huh? This leads into that final room. Okay. So, let's go ahead and pick this lock. I'm not going to loot it yet. I'm just going to pick it for now. Hopefully it opens. <gasps> First try. Excellent. Okay. I almost hit E on that. Like, by the way. Shit. Not what I wanted to have happen. Oh. This door's basically screwed anyway, so... Well... Oh, hey, bud. You want a knot? Okay. 
Okay. Oh boy. You know what? We're getting pretty hefty right now. I think I will leave, drop some stuff off, and then come back. I don't want to have to huff and puff around, right? Okay. Drop off everything we can. I want that coffee back, though. You go ahead and take these and that. And I need these four feathers. Get rid of those. Put the flashlight in there. Okay. Let's go back. Now, where the real fun begins. Let's tell these two frames here. I'm going to set these down there. Let's go ahead and put the metal points there. Put this copy down here. Okay. So, now, find where we first want to start at. Anything there? Something like it. All right. Start in the office, and we will make our way around. Get everything. Go. Noise. That. I haven't searched that one yet. How about this one? Or we search that. This one. Got it. That's the. This one. Have this here. Else cleared. Here we have the toolboxes here. One toolbox, really. That one. Clear. Not. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That's that. That. Uh, how about these? Nothing behind there. One. More lock picks. Hell yeah. Well, that's what you got for me. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna take real quick. We got a pistol. I don't know what quality it is though. Nothing behind there. Real quick, sweep this way as well. That's empty. That's empty. 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 Ah, I keep hitting those damn things. It's, it's throwing me off, man. This one's untouched. Got that one, got that one. Oop. That one. That one's touched, that one's touched. Yep. We go in here. One here. Here. One. Done. Next. Okay, those two are done. This one, and this one, one up here. Okay, Got this one here. Put in the frames. Last one's been looked at. Up back here, we have this trash here. Little machine that I can't get into this toilet. I have another pistol. I did have another pistol. Holy crap. There, uh, there was more supplies. I was open. The toilet. The toilet. Place paper basket. That's clear. Let's go. Okay, that one, that one, that one. Perfect. Let's go. One grab. Yep. Moving up. Nope. I think the only place we need to do is down in the main area. Oh, I already searched that right. Yep, I did. All right, so fall. Nope. Got ones that are not going to break. Man, it took us almost about five minutes to get through here. The last one. And bam. Got it. And then back down to here. Oh, yeah. 
Oof. I don't think we're going to be able to loot anything else in the minute that we have left. So what we'll do... I'm just going to go back here, sort through our stuff, and we'll trade with the uh, trader. So... Impact driver. Do not know that one. So we'll go ahead and use that. Grab that. Is my hammer this good? I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. They just repair stuff. I'm going to sell it anyway. I have two pretty bad pistols. I'm going to get rid of both of them, I think. Okay, so... Go ahead and store everything that I can, first of all. Move all loot items to container. Let's just do that. Oh my god, perfect. Okay. Um, SMG automatic turret. S G auto turret. I know that one. Perfect. Okay. So the stuff I want to sell. Go ahead and start collecting that, shall we? Sorry, that scared the shit out of me. Like a sandstorm that came in? Terrifying. I thought like a bunch of zombies or something was, was coming after me. Holy crap, okay. Electrical wire relay. I think I'll hold on to these. Um, Jesus Christ. So terrifying. I already know that, so store that. Um, let's get rid of this flashlight. I go ahead and store the cement mix. Uh, cement mixer schematic. That. I need the chrysanthemum. Go ahead and use this. Store the barbed wire. Take this pickaxe. Anything else I want to get rid of? This alcohol. I think that's all. Let's do this shit too. Let's go. Let's trade. Hold on. Get my tokens. Thank you. Alright, before we. I just want to make sure there's no other loot around here that I can get quick before we trip with the guy. I think that's everything. Only those three things down there. That's all there is. Yep. Alright. Hey, bud. I want to trade you some stuff. There we go. Alright. Might not have made out like a bandit or anything, but. We got a decent amount. Uh, so what you got for me, sir? Compound crossbow, huh? Compared to mine, it's better, but I'm not going to buy it. I can't afford it anyway. I wish I could sort by stuff that I... Oof. 4x4 four four chassis schematic. I might get that, to be honest. But what else do you have, real quick? Anything of interest? Battery bank, a steel sledgehammer, hunting rifle. Okay, so he has nothing else. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this 4x4 schematic. Safe travels. Use that. And let's go ahead and read this treasure map as well. Treasure map is where? Oh, down there. Okay, it's not too far away, but we're not going to deal with that right now. Uh, we are going to go ahead and leave. I'm going to eat these blueberries real quick. It feels like a, a tornado or something's gonna just hit me. I do not like that. Let's kill this zombie quick. We do need all the experience we can get, really. So, be helpful. Okay. Yeah. Actually, give me my gasoline. And then, so we're at 50 right now. Refuel that. 
didn't actually take that much, so I think we're good. Okay, go! Although it's going to be a lot harder to see what building is what now, since we have to get real close to them to see it. No, no matter. Go ahead and just go down this next block. Used sail, we got smoked ribs. Oh, is the clearing? Nice. Okay. We have burgers and fries. We have gas station auto or sale building there. Police station, that could be useful to go to. Um, where is man? Look, Bird, I'll kill you in a second. Can you just, like, leave me alone for a moment, though? Derek could have some nice stuff in it, though, too. So, take this frickin' bird out. Get her dead. Now then, let's search this building next. Hello? Anyone here? Not gonna jump off the roof and kill me, are you? Yep. The zombie's hiding here. Oh, there's one. No, that's a tree moving. Where are these zombies? There's none around here. Bizarre. Oh. I should have known. I should have known he was right inside there. Any more in there? Nope. Okay. I'm going to go up here quick. Just clear this side. Make sure no one is around up here. Start at the top, you know, work our way down. Construction site untouched. Oh, we actually got some switches. I love word electrical fences for a second. Oh man, that was got my hopes up. I was gonna be like, yeah, but no. I don't know. Okay, well, this is obviously an invitation to go out here. There's also a ladder there, huh? But, hmm. Oh, there was a reason to come up here, huh? Real, I already got that, though. Also, I don't need this bandage, these feathers, get rid of them. I'm going to start with that stuff here, so... Yes, I didn't get hurt. Hell yeah. More wood there, that's fine. Rubber box with nails and copper. Plastic barrel that has water. Oh, here comes the airdrop. Hopefully it drops on the way to our base and not north of us or something. That'd be unfortunate. this uh -huh. break into here real quick you hear a zombie someone's running Just like a trash floating in the air. A biker too. Uh, you know, it used to be the cop zombies would like spit acid at you. I wonder if that's still a thing now or not. Really suck if it was. Can you can you not can you just back off for a second, sir? I'm out of stamina, what the fuck? Oh, that was an abrasion. God damn it. Coffee! Knock it off. Down the ground, sir. 
Yep, you're next, lady. Oh my god, come on, there we go. Okay. How do I fix an abrasion? Uh, aloe cream, first aid bandages, or first aid kits. Okay, well, I might as well use the bandage that I got here. All right, now that everything's been pretty much taken care of... Dog. Oops. Uh, dog? Okay. Nope. Did it run away because I hit it, or what? that the dogs like to run away right before they like come back to kill you like they like to make you think that they ran away so you lower your guard and then they'll just come back you know all right let's get a little bit of meat here we can use it as food if we have to we do have a campfire back there so we can make some charred meat if we have to i'd rather not though so hopefully we don't have to do that Labor Day sale, huh? So if there's like Labor Day sale promotional flyers, that means that the zombie apocalypse here must have happened right around Labor Day. A little bit on, before, or after. Somewhere around there. Interesting. Oh man, I got a sham sandwich. I could eat it, but also it would lower my health and give me a chance of dysentery. So, no thank you. Get rid of that. Scrap that, scrap that, scrap that. Toss that out. Get rid of these bones. Okay. Looking good. I see a dog bark. Oh, there's water over here, too. Yeah, water. All right. So we saw a police station. Let's go take a look at that. Hong Kong. this truck here too. Right it. Lumberjack, huh? Bear, give me my fuel. Thank you. Looks like we're secure for right now. How do I get in here? How much would it take to destroy this? Way too much. How about this one? Still way too much. Okay. Well, in that case, there's got to be a different way to get into here. So, let's search the back. Hey, bud. Go. Level 30. Hell yeah. Screw you, dog. That's just going to be rotten flesh if I try to harvest it, so ignore that. What we'll do. A little bush, I think. Ow! I damn, I hit a barbed wire. 
idiot. Okay, looks like I cannot get through here. Yeah, this might be the way. Might as well, yeah. That's a word. Clear my surroundings here first. Okay. It looks like it actually wants me to go through this building first, but I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to. A biker. Of course, it's a biker. Goddamn. Large ex. Help having jerks. Okay, moving on. Hello. Let me search the lockers real quick. Yeah, I always forget that they're the same one now. It never used to be like that. Got a new hoodie. That's cool. I don't have to wear that nasty looking shirt, at least. Else is here. Oh, let's have it there. We gotta scrap that one. There's someone right back there. Can I close that door? Okay, let's go. Gonna, boop. There we go. One at a time, baby. Okay. Do I have a clear move back to the door? I do. Why are some people with a cop shot? Okay, next. Come on, lady. I didn't like what I was hearing back that way, so I wanted to close that door. Get some stuff up here. Get out of the way in case I need to leave for my safety. Tear some stuff down, drop some stuff. Yep. Anything in the lobby here? And this one quick. Perfect critical. Love to see it. I'd love it if someone would like attack that door. Oh yeah. Come on, attack the door. Ooh, loot box. Oh yeah. Come on, lady, you can do it. Break right through. No, I didn't even think to try to like attack that wall. See, that's what I mean. You can see me through these, but she's attacking that because it's easier to get through. Let's go ahead and close that now. So I can search in peace for a moment here. Right now. Get the supplies. Uh, I don't need to use that right now. Okay. We are filling up on space, though, so it's not... Great. Shit. <laughs> close the door. I can't close that door. Luckily, I just got out of range of that, so... It's good. The cops like to explode, if you couldn't tell. Okay, well, thanks to him blowing up, I don't have to worry about killing him anymore, so... Thanks, I guess? We're at a chair. Wouldn't eat this, since we are starving a little bit. Put a chair, destroy that. 
Huh? Oh, I forgot to take that, right? I'm done. I'm gonna go ahead and close that door real quick. What did I just pick up? I need to read more. Okay. If... I was gonna say, if the lock brick breaks, I'm just gonna bust into it. Probably safer than sitting here looking at... Stuff. I'm surprised that key didn't unlock the door. Or lock the safe. I'm not sure what else the safe could lead to. Maybe the back metal door? Or like a jail cell or something? Uh, I'm gonna drink this coffee since my stamina is getting a little low, my water anyway. What I mean? Go with that bad boy, and we got a dramatic I can use. Okay. And close that door, that's not great. Armor rack, huh? Ooh, that metal armor? Oh, yeah, brother. Nice. Can't close this door. Okay, hold on. Real quick. Um, I'm going to repair my sledgehammer real quick. I'm going to drop this bone. And let's take a look out here and see what's going on. I hit y'all on the deck. I don't care. Come on. Those two are dealt with. Lady, how are you coming here? I'm gonna take her out so I don't have to deal with it later. Okay. Easy. Now then, gun racks here, and I want access to them. Got a new baseball bat. I'm not sure if it's one rack all the way top down. So I want to do this. Okay, they're both empty. Gotcha. All right. Not repair. Modify. And remove this stuff. I'll modify this one and put this stuff back onto it. Excellent. And now I can move this baseball bat down to here, move that one there. Excellent. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and wear this, and then I will modify this, take those two off, complete that, and let's go ahead and swap them on again. Okay, I can modify this piece, and then equip it once again. Perfect. Okay. How's my stuff look? Looking good. What the hell? I'm gonna just die over there? I feel like someone just fucking ate shit. This leads to the restroom. Which. I appear to have anything in there except for trash, so. Crap that. How about the toilet? Can I get the toilet from here? Can. Oh yeah. Nailed it. Alright, this door opened. Close that door. How about this locker? Anything? Yep. Pipe. Oh! I was not expecting all these guys to come out. Are you dead, sir? Why aren't you dead? Uh, I'm concerned, but I'm also going to not deal with that for a moment. Mm. Okay, well, matter. 
Go ahead and try to pick this lock. Will I get it? Who's to say? Okay, how many lockers do I got left? I got seven. Okay, we, we did get a lot from the working stiff, so that was good. Nice, okay. Let me just look real quick through our stuff here. Glass can go away. What were these? Damage mitigation? Not bad. Um, Old cash? I'm gonna go ahead and just scrap that. Animal fat? I'll get rid of that for now. Okay. What do we got? Do I know how to make steel tools yet? I do not. Let's go ahead and use that real quick. Also, let's go ahead and read this uh, treasure map. What's this? Here's infection 10%. Not bad to have. Also not that great either. That compared to the baseball bat, what's better? Hmm. The uh thumb baton might actually be better. It takes more stamina and less less way less durability. But I don't know. We'll hold off on trying to deal with that thing for right now. Is there anything else that I have that I don't really need? I don't need these frames necessarily. So we get something else that I need to have. Gunpowder, for example. Let's take clay since that's easy enough to come by. Let's open these bad boys up. If there's any food in the sham way, I can just eat that right up real quick. I don't like having my back exposed. Like, ooh, meat stew? I'll eat that right now. Coffee. Might as well just drink that. I don't have any room for anything else anyway. Bookstore, we have a revolver schematic, learn that, and a grenade schematic, use that. Next we have this, which is a basic sensor schematic, tech junkie schematic, and a switch schematic. Learn how to make a switch, so we'll learn that one. Um, trigger plate, learn how to make that, so I'll learn that. And then tech junkie volume 4. Tech junkie, tech, tech junkie. I don't know that one, so perfect. Oh, we'll learn that one too. Go. Um. Use this arrow barrel so I can get these baton parts. Okay, it is getting late, so we need to skedaddle and get back in the trader right now. Excellent. Okay, so like I thought, that key that I picked up unlocked that door. Go the snake. At least for now. Do it! Go. Alright. Let's get back to the trader. Trade what we can. And then upgrade the airdrop close to the north. That sucks. Well, I'm going to do some. I think we got some decent stuff from that. That was a worthwhile endeavor. So, really made some stuff worth it. All right, let's pull up here and stop. Um, I don't appear to be able to cook anything right now. Is that because I don't have wood in it? Okay, now I can. Um, go ahead and just make some, I don't need to make charred meat anymore. Never mind. Never mind. Screw it. Um, the stuff that I want to keep, definitely want to keep mechanical parts, keep this baton, that, bullet tips, everything else, get that button. Okay. All right, let's run over here quick before the day closes. And I know I'll the casino tokens in there, but I don't think it matters too much for me right now. Stranger. Yeah, got, the best got some stuff to sell to you. I take that, take that, take as many of those as you can carry. How about this baseball bat? And how about this chest armor? I already have this on my shovel, so it doesn't matter how. Um, I don't think I need these switches. You have to trigger electrical events 
Maybe I'll hold on to those, actually. We'll, we'll hold on to them. Um, what else do you have, sir? Do you have anything else I could buy for you? Not really right now. I'm going to sell you volume six. You can craft shotgun magazine tube mods. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I already have one of these, I think. Wouldn't sell that. All the baton parts. I want to keep the, the steel club parts because I can use those later. Shitty parts also. We can. Um, that's all for now. And safe travels, friend. All right. Hmm. Let's give me that back, actually. All right, let's store oh, God, I can that. Oh, hold on. Real quick, just sell everything, or not sell everything. Store everything we can. Okay. Take everything else. Run back in here quick and sell these pills that I have that I don't want. <laughs> there are pills, pills here. Those. Thank that. you, Survivor. Check back soon. I get new merch. Now I could take these coins and go to the lady down south as well, and I think I might do that. I have everything on me right now, right? Yeah. So what we'll do right now, we're gonna get back on the bike. And we're gonna head up north to the treasure. Or that they are dropped, sorry. Before night falls, then after we grab that, we'll just head back to base to drop off all our loot here. Uh, I also want to take a look and see if there's any other structures around here. There could be more high value targets in this town, right? Church. Some normal houses we look like. Oop, fuck. Oops, school bus. What is... Is that another bookshop? Oh, it's a... Wait, are these... Is this two working stiff tools right here? Holy shit, that's perfect. Okay. We'll loot those later. Right now, let's get out of town towards the airdrop. Oop. Go. Moving right past the ship. Okay. Taylor Bridge now. If I didn't get stuck, I would have kept going. Really? Another one, sir? How dare they? Okay, great. I don't care what's in it, just grab it all. Let's go. We got bacon and eggs. That's nice. Okay. We are leaving this town now. We are heading towards that treasure. I believe. Let's get out of town first here. There's more working stiffs up here in a gas station, which is just perfect for us. So we can hit those up later. Now we'll just go over here and see what we can find. Might be a little dangerous to do... Oh, wait, we don't even have a shovel, so... Going over there would not help us out, would it? Question. Quests. Okay, so I do have two of those. God dang, that one treasure map is like far away, huh? All right, I don't have a shovel, so I'm just gonna ignore that for now. I made a mistake in my judgment there, but it's fine. What we can do, however, is go through this town over here and just kind of see what it has. Hey, coyote. Fuck you. I wonder if you honk the horn while I'm on this. It'd be cool. Like, 
Okay, we'll see what's in this other little town over here. Um, that way we at least have some other points of interest we could explore later. But it is getting to be later at night. So we have all of tomorrow, and then we have day 21 that comes up there. So we have to be on the lookout. Got some the iron or shale. I've not seen what shale looks like when you see it on the surface yet. Or even if it does show on the surface, I don't know. I'm gonna follow this little road here. Sure, we're full of loot right now, but I can at least mark out the map. map. Mark out the maps, right? There seems to be some sort of like power plant or something on this road. Well, I like exploring, so. Works for me. Oh, wait. Parking lot over there or something. Here. I think we'll see what this is. You know, we're getting canyon here, so I think we're gonna get me into the map soon. Oh, look, another coyote. Can I hit up my thing? What happens? Did it die? You little shit. Whatever. Screw it. Hoping it would die. Oh, I can take the meat. But, whatever. Alright, what do we got here? Was this a prison? Restricted area. This was a military base. Oh, shit. God damn it. Of course! Of course a vulture has to decide to come gnaw on me real quick. Military. Okay. Did it not save? Damn it. There. Now it. Let's go. We got more stuff over here, too. Once the night falls, it's going to be kind of harder to see stuff. I just I kind of don't want to leave this unexplored, you know what I mean? We got another building over there, too. God dang. There's just buildings all over up here. Dang, I wouldn't, wish we would have been, like, further to the north when we decided to... Oh, great. I, I'm infected. I think we're going to have to take these. Are you kidding me here? First of all, use this. Next, use these pills. Be rid of the concussion. Did I just break an arm too? Is that what that symbol means? These, these dang vultures, man. That's a bear. Uh, I'm just gonna, gonna turn around. I'm not gonna go near a bear right now. Those things are fast. I'm not even sure if anybody can outrun it, so... We got another military tower here. Don't really care too much about that, so we're just gonna keep going. Back towards the town that was here. We'll just kind of cut through that. Do we can see the coyote right there? So we have. Hmm. We only managed to level up once this time that we were out here. That's all right. Maybe the next time we come up around and search and loot stuff, we'll be able to find a little bit more, get a little more experience, right? Definitely a town, or at least it's a residential area. Gotta cross the grass here a bit. Do I not have a splint on me? Can I make a splint? Cloth fragments. I think I have cloth fragments in the bike. Okay. My arm is now secured again. I just gotta not get hurt. Do you, dog? A wolf, I guess. Yeah, okay, it's a uh, outpoke town. Church there, hotel. 
Eric's stuff. Metal works. Got a, was that a covered wagon there? Saloon, huh? Duke's general. Uh, suspiciously growing, glowing light there. Crap. Brewery. And then Fitz Feed. Yeah. Doesn't look like this town is anything important. At least not that I can tell. Maybe there's something incredibly rare there, but I just cannot tell the difference between anything that's rare there and anything that would be just completely junk. Well, let's just skedaddle, get home, and I think I just ran over a rabbit. Also, I want to get close to this place to mark it on the map. It's a power substation? Dog! There's also a well there. There's definitely some loot here we had. The dog still follow me? Doesn't look like it is. Well. That's fine. We got a hill here, that's unfortunate. Go around that so the bike can power up that. Man, my, my body really just does not like to not get broken bones, huh? Is there a perk that like stops you from getting broken bones or something? Like that'd be great. Do you so we're back in the city? That we call home. Not really. Good. Can I fit through here? Yes, I can. Ooh, thread the needle, though. We can go around here, and then over here, and... Oh, God. I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants right now. Woo! Okay. Made it through the town. Hell yeah. What I might do is after this next horde, I might actually just build a base up close to that town. Because this town doesn't really have much for us, right? It didn't really have any good loot zones. Just a bunch of... Not like three or four gas stations. So it wasn't even worth us, like, doing much there, right? The good news is we can get back here about a tank of gas. Yeah, what I was thinking is we could just put like an electric fence between these two. That'd be cool. But if we're going to move, I think I'd rather not invest time in doing that. Let's go ahead and seal off things here quick. What if I click this? Over here, what if I click this? Okay, cool. That's what that button does. It uh, moves stuff over you already have. That as well. Turn this on while we're home, huh? Okay. I have these arrowheads. All right, I was gonna see if I can modify this, put this on it as well. Nope, can't have that and that, huh? That makes sense. I'm gonna scrap those then, I don't want to deal with them. Fire here. Uh, we did get this armor box, which has all cloth armor. Great. What a great airdrop, everyone. Everyone clap for the airdrop that we got full cloth gear on, which is just worthless. For us. Look at that. All negatives. Mm. I mean, sure, the stamina is better, but. Like. Eh. Right? Oh, I learned a bacon and eggs recipe, too. No, I'm just gonna learn it. I don't wanna deal with selling it to the people. 
gas. Go ahead and crap that. Go ahead and store the there. Um, let's get rid of this goldenrod tea. Go ahead and eat this bacon and eggs. I thought that was actual bacon and eggs, not a recipe. So that's what else came in that airdrop. That's lame. Okay. Um, stun baton I'll put in here for right now. Need a shovel, so come here. Okay. Go back up, take out the rest of our stuff that we got. I'll turn off that light. All right, let's take everything. All right. And let's go ahead and store the gas back again. Actually, give me that and let's refuel first. Now put it away. Okay. Close. Close. All right, give me that. Give me that. I need for the cement mixer. Bring engine mechanical parts. Okay. Bring mechanical parts and an engine. Cement mixer going into craft, and we'll just put everything back here again. So, boop, then boop, boop. Or everything here. Up here for now. That. Okay. Need another thing of bacon and eggs here, it looks like. Okay. Store this stuff for now. So many bottles. So, my thinking is, what we could do, since there's a town there, a town there, and a town over here somewhere, we could make our base like around here, like a new base, just start fresh. We will make what we can there. And then we don't have to worry about much else. Like, sure, we won't have like a secure bunker down here, but I think we just take an area, flatten it out, and then we can call it good. So there's four, I'll go ahead and load that up on the wall. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, so if I wanted to make a concrete shape, it would take concrete mix. So I think rather than going through the process of starting at the wood level, we could start at the concrete level. We already have some concrete, right? Yeah, we got concrete here, so I could make that. But I'm not going to do that right now because that would just add to the things we would have to transport later. Um... What about a chainsaw? Do I don't know how to make a chainsaw yet? I do not. Unfortunate. Okay. The only other issue I see would be having the iron and stuff here in our furnace. So what I might do is I might just start making a bunch of bullet casings. Let's get rid of this iron in my thing here. Make as much brass as I can there. And I'll also build as many bullet tips as I can. Um, we do need clay still to like, make stuff fully, so I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. We'll have a bunch of, bunch of stuff here. What else can I make with this stuff? Make a bunch more steel arrowheads. What about... I think that's all I can make for iron right now. Uh, cement. We're required to do a lot of shit. Yeah, I can... 
really quickly get rid of all my stone that's in here. Do that, and that'll take a while. A long while. At least we have the time for it, it looks like. We're trying to move these around, like have this wheel first. But whatever. Next we have our lead problem, which we can just fill up with more bullet tips, to be honest. Yeah, I need a lot more lead for that then. Or a lot more uh, clay. Then we have sand, which... What can I even do with sand here? Make glass? I can just churn out crushed sand, which would just be pointless. I guess I can make jars, right? Jars require clay and sand. And I can get a bunch of uh, empty jars, fill them with murky water, have a have a bunch of murky water and stuff, but when I need it. Give the plan for that, I guess. If I max that out right now. Yeah, I can do that. Cool. Alright, well, this is still going and whatnot. Now we only got lead left. Okay. A little more. Okay. I think that's good. What should we all need? Let's go ahead and scrap those and scrap those. Because the arrowheads are, they take less time to make, right? So, I'll just have those start filling up with everything. And we're going to toss this in there. So, yeah. Hmm. All right. Make wooden spikes. I don't think that many. Let's make like 16 wooden spikes. There we go. All right. So I think what we'll do is actually real quick. Where is, okay. So that Stefan's Treasure map is definitely in a direction that's further away. Okay. Well, I'll leave that there. Oh my god, did a chicken wander in here and just die? Cool. I don't know why a chicken all of a sudden decided to come into the base and was like, I'm just gonna walk around and blah. That works for me. Okay, so let's carefully. Place these down here. Okay. Give me a good path out. So. All right. We are going to move our base. This place is cool and all, but it just, you know, it, it's it's a it's an underground bunker and stuff like that. And getting in and out of it's starting to piss me off. So we're going to change things up. All right. So we'll make a uh, completely unattackable bunker thing, I guess. Thing TM. Um, and kind of go from there. That's all I'm still going to be making. Uh, so what we'll do, I'm going to store this here for now. And then I'm going to pause the game because I think we're going to wrap up for today. So what we'll do is today, uh, next time, we'll spend this day, we'll go, well, we can't restore power tonight, can we? It has to be a night mission. Forgot about that thing. So, what we might do is we might start making our base up north um, tonight, or today, anyway. And then when night falls, we might go check out that power station thing that we have to do, that it wants us to do for that mission. And then we can come back down here after the night's over and start preparing for the next day. It'll be day 21. Um, and during the day of day 21, what we'll do is we'll continue to move stuff up north that we have it there, and we can, you know, live up there. And then when night 21 starts to get closer, 
We'll come back here once more to our, our bunker and we will, you know, live out the horde. And then that'll be it for this base. And then when the next horde night comes around seven days later, we will use the bore of the bunker up north that we're going to build and have a good old fun time of it. And uh, yeah, so I think we're in a good place right now to where having a, a new base is feasible. Uh, we just have to chop down a bunch of trees and stuff like that. So it'll, it'll be a little bit of a process, but it'll be fun. Yeah. Anyway, that'll be all for me, everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. And we'll just kind of go from there. So until next time, I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.